He's not going to get away in test match cricket, isn't young Chander Paul? Just playing always through the onside. He's going to have to work at playing on the offside. Well, now he's gone over the head of short extra cover, not by much. Well, Lard is not going to allow a little tiddly bowler like uh, Harris to throw up little back of the hand, I don't know, leg spinners come, whatever you call them, with a man on the drive on the offside and a great big gap between cover and mid-off. He's going to go through the man, over the man, round the man, anyhow, he's just going to hit it hard in that area. It's a very big gap. Going back in his last shot for extra cover for four. So Lara's, Jeff was saying, different attitude here. 12 overs gone, 39 for two. That's a typical first in the short. Gone for six, this is a big strong man for Simmons. And he really clobbered that one. Lara's hit that a mile. Well, that's a little bit like his golf swing. Just a free swing of the bat. Down. Over his head. And that'll go for four more. So an eventful over here. And Lara counter-attacking. That's a 6-4. 15 overs gone, 56 for two. Down. Got that away for four more. So this is a bold counter-attack by the two Trinidadians. And Chris Harris, who's given the West Indies a lot of problems so far in this series, is taking the brunt of the attack. Tries it again, and what placement. And you can't bowl over the wicket on leg stump or just outside to Brian Lara. And he's fit to get away with it two balls in a row. Yeah, it's a dangerous option, all right. To get a bit of drift there, Deepak Patel, but he didn't start the ball wide enough of off stump. So it just drifted into the hitting arc, and what a fine player of the sweep shot he is, Lara. 92 for two. Cairns to Lara. Yeah. And by our reckoning, Lara brings up his half century as Tony Cozy and Michael Holding come into the commentary position. So that raises the West Indies 100, 144 deliveries to get there. And a recovery. 31 for two when Chandapal's frustration got the better of him. Hold out to long on, 13 off 37 deliveries. Come on. Again, Lara teasingly going over the head of Midwicket. Midwicket is within the field restricting area and he's put it away for four with what looked initially like a fall shot. It runs away quite quickly on that side of the field. There again you can see the face of Brian Lara's bat tilted upwards, obviously trying to hit the ball in the air. I think that was one was better timed, much more convincing. Big gap out there on the onside, once you clear that man at short mid-wicket. is precise. That was Brian Lara's ninth four and so well placed. They will certainly have to try and do something about that as far as field placing or line is concerned because he's definitely deliberately hitting the ball in the air into that gap. That'll go away for four more, so this is an expensive over from Lance, from Chris Cairns. That's a tremendous stroke. Simmons, such a powerful man, all bottom hand. Deliberate stroke over mid on.
comfortable two to Phil Simmons brings up the end of the over. It's also 114 and just 120 balls. 150 for two. That's played very fine by Simmons. And Kansas wide at fine leg. He's quick. And a nifty bit of footwork. They'll still get three. Yes, Mark Haslam, he's an interesting prospect. He toured India as well. He's had a pretty good domestic season. In fact, they've given up four, so he must have overstepped. Come almost an inevitability with Brian Lara, 100. And there it is. He had another 100 for Brian Lara. Flags are waving, out they come onto the ground, the Trinidad and Tobago flag, the Guyana flag. Brian Lara being acknowledged by spectators and by teammates, being mobbed. 900 in one day internationals. He'll be a little bit richer in terms of East Caribbean dollars by the time they've all left him. And maybe a few in his own currency as well. 98 deliveries to reach there, 1, 6, and 10, 4s. That's gone. Way back. So Phil Simmons lofting it just over the head of the long off fielder. Gone for 6. Astor went back. Spanking it, another boundary to third man. That was well placed by Phil Simmons, just giving himself enough room to place that behind square. Now here's Fleming. here getting very close to 200 not a lot of runs left to be made just another 43 well, already decides he can make it easily so the West Indies raise the 200 Well, things certainly are going the West in his way now. Even that good delivery, York has been squeezed for two. That's hit with tremendous power. No ball as well. Typical Phil Simmons stroke. The back cut with all his muscular power. 